Hi, I'm Suzanne McNeil. I'm here at Art of the Carolinas. It's put on by Jerry's Artorama. And there's so many exciting things to see and feel. So I taught two classes here on Zentangle and Watercolor. And the Zentangle Watercolor class was full. So I thought that was pretty good for my first time. We had so much fun in the class. But if you're not familiar with Zentangle, here's the basic concept. Each of our books has different tangles, and there are literally over hundreds of tangles. So the books show the basics, how to do the tangles, and a few samples. Like, maybe you wanted to do this pattern, and you might go, where do I start? That looks hard. But by the step outs in the book, you can see it's actually a simple process. Here's another one. Maybe that looks a little confusing, but it's so simple to do this. So each book has different patterns and instructions, and here's one I'm working on. So basically, I took a pencil and I drew sections on my paper. And now I'm taking a Micron pen, and I'm just filling each section with a different tangle pattern. This is so relaxing. What I do at home is I really enjoy, after a long day at work, just having a lap board and sitting in front of the television and just drawing different tangles. It's so relaxing and yet when I'm finished I have a beautiful piece of artwork. Let me show you a couple other pieces. Here I'm working on paper. Here's some encaustic board, some clay board. Here's another paper, some birds that I've drawn, and here's a watercolor, a postcard of a watercolor painting that I've done. So now I'm going to share a few of the other artists that I've met here at Jerry's Autorama. Okay. Hi, I'm Bob Ostrom from Bob Ostrom Studio. How are you? <laughs> Today I'm painting an alligator. Right? So he's going to look like this. So I do children's books. You can find me at bobostromstudio.com. <laughs> this is my lovely assistant, May. Say hello, May. Hi. Okay, hold up your art. What are you working on? A nice. Love it. Hey, I'm Brenda Madsen, and I'm working in the Richardson booth using Unison and Richardson pastels and painting on a Richardson board. Uh, having a great time. Wish you were here. Oh, that's beautiful, yes. canvas that is actually a Frederick's canvas and we're painting a wonderful bird bath just a small vignette of a garden scene would love to have you join us Talk to that's my new sumi brush the Bill Buckman Zen brush Imported from Japan. And I'm here at Terry's Autorama's Art of the Carolinas. We're having a great time demonstrating all Savoir Fair products. I have my new book coming out, Expressive Figure Drawing. These are some of the little demos I've been doing different <coughs> products the Sennelier oil pastels and watercolors. Also, this is done with my new Reed pen, which is coming out. The Zen pen. Let me show you that one before. Lots of good stuff going on. Okay. I'm Ophelia Stinkman. And today I'm playing and, in the Reflections Journal. I'm playing with some Turner gouache here. I love how chalky these gouache are, and they're so matte and they're wonderful. I work mainly in art journals, and I use a lot of media. I love to lay down, of course, a layer of gouache on my page and just go. These squash are so creamy and so rich on my page, it just adds another element that I love. These journals are wonderful. They have, they come, there's a variety of journals that you can get, of course, at these shows. So that instead I have... Hi, I'm Chuck McLaughlin, and I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina, and I just paint, 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 paint all day long. I love it. 
And what I'm doing now is just an old tobacco bond. I love these old bonds because they're just falling by the wayside. And I'm using Lucas Watercolor, the 1862. Wonderful piece of work. Good product. Excellent uh, versatility. And good color. Great color. Okay. So I'm able to mix this together and, and work one on top of another. And just I'm just having a lot of fun with this. And I use it almost like oil. See, I've got a I've got a bristle brush that I'm applying this paint with. So a lot of the myths that uh, we, we've got into with watercolor uh, are really not true, you know. I hope you enjoyed my sharing of what I saw here at Jerry's Art Room. You might want to come some here too. Here in North Carolina, it's beautiful, and the teachers are wonderful.